Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. The Manon Daily area in Star Wars The Old Republic comes with a collection of hidden achievements that you can go looking for in the Manon Daily area. Some of these achievements can be seen directly when you open them up in the achievements panel, but others are secret and you won't be able to see them until they're completed. If you want some spoiler free hints so you can look for these yourself without being told exactly where they are, please visit the link in the description of this video as we have a little hints guide as well as a full written guide with screenshots and maps if you'd rather that than a video. Now let's dive right into the achievements. The most obvious achievement, which isn't hidden, is the Manon Sightseer achievement, and this is a fun achievement that sends you looking for seven different things to find. The first thing to find is the Fighter's Memoir. This is a data pad, and we're going to find it on the Imperial Culto Refining Platform. So the big platforms that are out on the open water, we're going to be heading into an elevator that's in the very center of the map. Once we actually head down the elevator, the blue data pad is very carefully hidden in the western portion of this sub-level map. First one, not very difficult at all. Second one, find this Selkath relic is really difficult. I'm not sure if it's a little bit broken or if it's just meant to be hard to find. This one is, as you may be able to guess, located in the ancient Selkath city. It is hidden in a cave that's kind of in the west. You can see the cave entrance on the map pretty easily. But once you go inside, you may check all the relics in there and be like, nothing's clickable. This ancient Selkath relic is located inside a golden box or a golden crate, and it's barely, barely clickable. You have to mouse your mouse around until it looks like there's something you can right click. A little tooltip will pop up when you're in the right spot. Number three, get devoured by the progenitor. So the progenitor is supposed to be this giant shark, Faraxa shark in Star Wars lore. But uh, you really can't get eaten by a shark, so instead you're looking for a statue of a giant fish or giant shark. And you're also able to find that in the ancient Selkath City area. This giant statue is located on the far east of the ancient Selkath City map. And if you're having a hard time jumping into its mouth, you can go around the back as there's kind of a little mini set of stairs that you can climb up. Number four, investigate the Colto tanks. These are one of the easiest ones to find. They're located on the public arrivals port map. And all you have to do is find them. They're just sitting there inside a little tiny room in the very center of the map. And don't forget for all of these objects, you need to actually right click them. Don't just find them. If you don't actually activate them, it won't progress your achievement. Number five, swim in the underwater pool. This one was driving us crazy because you can only get this achievement when you are actively working on the story. So if you miss this while you are playing the story, you'll have to go back and do it on another character. For Imperial side, you're looking for the quest, A Conservative Proposal, and it's part of the Veiled Threats storyline. And for the Republic side, you'll be on the Retribution in the Rift mission that's given to you at the end of the Uncertain Cooperation storyline. Basically, once you get inside the Ancient Progenitor Temple and make it to the furthest room, make sure to jump in the big glowing pool of Colto for the Sightseer achievement credit. If you happen to have a friend on the same step, you may also be able to jump into their story mission and go in the pool there. Number six, visit the ancient Selkath city. Okay, this one is, you'll literally just walk in the door of the ancient Selkath city. There's nothing to click or anything. And number seven, visit the Patriots Memorial. This one's pretty fun to find. So this one is hidden in the Visitor Center Exploration Dome. To get to the dome, you first need to go to the public arrivals map, then just go down the nearest elevator. Once you're actually under the dome, you can see the ocean above you, pretty cool area. There's a lot of fun stuff to look around and go find. Most of them are not related to the achievement. There is actually a codex in the center of the map. It looks like a glowing blue plaque. It gives you the codex Selkath Isolationist, the Cyphus Collective. But there's also the last part of this Manon Sightseer achievement down here. You're looking for what looks kind of like a funnel that goes up into the ocean. There's three of them in this whole map. The one you want is going to be in the south west you're going to walk up the little ramp into the little viewing area and one of the plaques up there is actually right clickable um, if you go check out the other plaques in this area there is some fun stuff and some star wars jokes to read as well as some cool information about the biome and area that you're in and that's the manon sightseer achievement congratulations you got the easiest find and seek game now let's go jump off a dock 
The next two achievements are the Diving Club achievements, and these are actually available before the Manon Daily Area was released, which is kind of neat. They're just some fun little achievements. For the Republic side, you need to go to the Shipping Docks map, and you can jump off one of the actual docks, and it should give you the achievement. I think more than one works. Here's two of the ones that I know for sure that work. Imperial side, you're heading to the Imperial Colto Refining Platform. Unfortunately, two different maps have this name. You're looking for the very small map. Directly north of the taxi, there's a very small dock that you can take your character and jump right off of for the Imperial Diving Club achievement. And here's where we start getting into the crazy secret achievements. First off, there's the Converts and Compatriots achievement, and this is going to be Republic only. We need to find three hidden objects. The first is the new cult members log, and this one is incredibly well hidden on the floor behind a crate. And it's in one of the story focused areas, it's called the Joint Operations Arrivals. So it's kind of near the taxi. Once you found that one on the floor, you can head into the nearby hallway called the Joint Operations Base, and you're looking for a data pad that's actually hidden in a bush. It's really well hidden inside some bright blue glowing flowers. Once again, this is an object, you just gotta right click it once you find it. And lastly, the developers pulled a sneaky and instead of a data pad, you're looking for a piece of paper that is also nearby sitting on a crate. The Imperial side does have an equivalent achievement called All Things in Moderation, but you only have to find two. There's a lost data pad and a misplaced data pad. The first one is located in the hidden Imperial base. That's a cool circular waterfall area. It's kind of in the southern western portion of the map. It's hidden kind of nestled inside some crates in a corner. The second one is located in the Archaeology Center Arrivals. This is the room kind of right before you head into the ancient Silcast City. You're looking for the misplaced data pad and this is kind of behind and to the side of a crate. It's really well hidden. And if you thought those were hard to find or well hidden, oh my god, the next set of achievements are some of the most crazily hidden objects I've seen in the entire game. So the first one is going to be Shipping Suspicions, and this is going to be Republic only. We're looking for three hidden objects, and all of these are located on the Shipping Docks map. The first one is called a Burned Data Spike. It's located kind of the northern section of the Shipping Docks map. It is sticking out of a crate, the back of a crate inside a tent. It is not glowing blue or anything like that. It is just this very tiny little spike that you can only tell it has anything to do with anything. If you manage to mouse your mouse over it, it is almost undetectable at all. Congratulations if you manage to find it even with a guide. Second is the Altered Manifest. This one is sitting on top of a crate, so you gotta do a little bit of jumping to get up there. It's kind of in the center of the big room to the south of the shipping docks map. And lastly, you're looking for the Suspicious Backpack, which is also really well hidden in a dead-end hallway at the very southern tip of the map. It's kind of to the right of the elevator there, but it's hard to see. Um, it is one of the bigger things you'll be looking for for these achievements. This achievement's Imperial counterpart is Refining Suspicions, which also has three hidden objects for you to find on the Imperial Colto Refining Platform. To be clear, once again, this map shares a name with another map. We're looking for the smaller Imperial Colto Refining Map. The first hidden object is the Listening Device. This one is hidden on the side of a crate very near to the taxi where you land. It is incredibly small, and it just looks like a little nub or hexagon shape on the side of the crate. Speaking of things that are really oh, small and hard to find, the tracking beacon is a very, very tiny red glowing light inside of an opened small shipping crate with an imperial symbol on the top. And this is located in one of the little bay areas on the very top left of the map, the very northwest of the map. The final third object is also nearby. It's in one of those bay areas, but it's to the south. It is a data pad that's leaning up against a box, but it is only half visible, so you'll really need to look for it. If you manage to find all the really difficult ones on both Republic and Imperial side, refining suspicions and shipping suspicions, you'll actually get another special achievement called I've Got a Bad Feeling. I love these exploration type achievements that really encourage you to explore the map. 
and I hope you enjoyed this guide showing off where to get those super secret hidden objects. Thank you so much to Zach who helped me find all of these objects and write down the instructions for you guys. If you want more videos like this to show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to show your support, visit sotarisa.com support. As always, may the force and the keen eyes be with you.